Hi Taurus, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for a tarot reading for all Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thank you to all of you for your support. I hope you're off to a great start in 2022. I appreciate you guys very much. And if you are new here, welcome to you. I post new readings every Friday, then again on Monday. So if reading doesn't resonate, come back in a couple of days. You can watch a new reading. Um, Mondays are a different style every week. So one week I'll do a Celtic Cross style reading. I do love readings, different Oracle card readings. Fridays are always a general reading. And so if you like tarot and you like the channel, I'd love to invite you to subscribe to Higher Source Tarot. All right, what advice do you have for Taurus? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. What does Taurus need to know, please? For the best and highest good of all concerned with Taurus. Me messages for Taurus, please. All right, so we'll start here with the tarot and then we'll have the angel answers. You got the Queen of Wands, Justice, the Six of Wands, the Page of Pentacles, the King of Wands. Well, I like that right together. Oh boy, the Knight of Wands, the Eight of Swords. Well, I don't think the Eight of Swords is going to have much power in this reading and the Wheel of Fortune. Very powerful reading. Um, I personally love the, the King and Queen of Wands. The Knight of Wands gets a bad rap. Somehow he's been pegged on YouTube as the one with the wandering eye. That's more like the Knight of Cups. I, I don't know where that's coming from. The Knight of Wands is like excited to move forward. So anyway, with this, you've definitely got fire here. Aries, Leo, Sag. You've got um, Libra here. You've got the fixed signs here. You've got air and a little bit of um, earth too. But with this Queen of Wands, I mean, you've got something here with the king and queen Th these are great for career by the way this is like an awesome energy for career money anything that you really want to set a goal and move forward this is going to happen there's going to be no stopping it with these two together i mean talk about a dynamic couple a power couple the queen of wands too brings in great creativity but with this your ideas go somewhere they're not just cool thoughts or daydreams they become something the Queen of Wands will help you to inspire other people even. The actions that you take, people are going to want to know, what are you doing? If it's something too with your physical body, um, you know, again, it's that same kind of energy where you don't miss a workout, you are into it, you know, you research, you look up new things, you try new things that work. And um, with this, so in terms of a relationship, so I do feel like you're going to be getting noticed. You've got quite a bit in terms of attention and this fiery kind of lustful energy. You know, her knees are apart for a reason. I think I've pointed that out before. Um, and yeah, that is what it means. Um, but with this too, I do feel like you have great companionship coming in as well. So if it's a relationship, it's passionate, but there is a friendship. The only thing I feel like is you have to be a little careful with like, heated arguments and things like that I just be careful with that so much fire energy not to you know say things that you can't take back okay I just it comes in for somebody where there is love in the situation but I'm just getting somebody that's like I get it's like at night like trying to go somewhere late at night and fighting over an uber or a cab or some damn thing that happened that stuff is not worth it and, you know, focusing on that will just attract more of it. So anyway, back to this, um, it's definitely an, it's definitely an energy of using your will in a very creative way. Okay. Bringing things forward in your life. Now with justice here, justice is sort of a, in some ways it's a softening agent to all these wands. It's definitely a very solid moral compass. So in a relationship or in work, it's all about following the rules, doing things the right way, not trying to step on anybody's head to get to the top, right? I always envision like, you know, somebody almost like climbing a rock wall and stepping on the person below them. This will, won't allow you to do that. You don't take shortcuts here. You do it the right way. But it's also, too, decisions going in your favor. So if there was something before, like you got passed up for a promotion or passed up for a job, you're not going to look back, you know, you're going to keep going forward here because there's something better here, especially with that six of wands. I definitely feel like you're going to be noticed. This is about the universe making things right, too. And so, you know, we allow that the universe or God or whatever you want to call it 
to handle people. We that mishandle us, we don't have to go after them. This will take its course, okay? If we, if we go out of our own lane and start trying to take revenge on people, it will only increase the, the same kind of tension and animosity in our own lives. So with this too, I do feel like it's really giving you back the things that you've put out there in a very positive way, okay? So knowing that you've worked hard and if you were passed up, it's because there was something better. And here it is. Here comes the something better for you. So with the Six of Wands, it's victory, success, and it might for some people be a bit of an in-your-face kind of thing. I don't think that you'll do it intentionally, Taurus, but I just think it'll feel good, you know, if you post, you maybe you post a little something on Instagram or somewhere, you know, your social media, you just decide just to, to let out some of the good news because this is good news coming in. I also feel like you you do have reliable people around you though, good companions. There's no threat to you. I don't see anything in this reading that would be a threat. In a relationship though too, I mentioned you might have a bit of a fiery energy. Now tarot is your best friend that tells you the truth. So you can always redirect that if you, if you notice it and say, oh God, I don't want to have that happen. It doesn't have to. It just is one of those things that we use the tarot to give us advice and guidance. And so with this, you can have that great connection without having it get over the top. Okay, building that momentum where it almost becomes volatile. This can be that attraction and feeling uplifted without that tipping point where it becomes too much. So with the Page of Pentacles, pages are all about optimism and hope and curiosity. This one especially is like a a lifelong student. So some of you too, you may be getting more training in something that is involved with your career with all these wands being here. Um, this can be very hands-on too. So if you're into something like you're into massage or anything that you work, you're in the medical field, anything where you work hands-on, you're going to get more training that's going to lead to advancement here. Okay. This is, you've got a very, wands are upwardly mobile in the tarot. And so they're all about making advancements. They're all about making gains. And so you're going to have a door that opens here. And like I said, it might be training. It may be some kind of certification or something like that. Now, in terms of, I mentioned before, relationship too. It, it, this is a commitment. And it's one where they covet the, the commitment, all right? And so the way that he holds that pentacle, he looks at it because it's important to them. It is generally, pentacles are often about money, but it doesn't have to be. It can also be ma manifesting. It can be things in the physical body. But overall with this, I do feel like it has to do with that stability in your life more than anything else. Um, so, which we like with all this fire. So the king of wands come in, comes in. The kings and queens, of course, are mastery of the suit. So it's all about expanding your life. This is an energy where... If you have a presentation to give, it'll you'll knock it out of the park with this. Anything where you have to do public speaking or if you're doing something even on YouTube, you start your own channel. And it might be a bit of a discovery period where you're trying to figure out the best ways to do things. But it does seem like somebody has a facility for speaking in this energy. It's also an energy, though, too, like I said before, promotion of leadership. Um, the King of Wands is very much like a pull yourself up by your bootstraps kind of thing. He also is has the attitude, if I can do it, so can anybody else. So it's that push forward in the gym and anything that you do, you'll be all in in this energy. He leaves everything on the court, everything on the floor, everything. You know, he goes all in and gives it his all. So you may feel like you're very committed devoted to moving forward and you will with this energy nothing will stop this so i mentioned earlier this knight of wands it's a very flirtatious passionate energy but he's not the one that that you know runs around and cheats on people um i do feel like with this he can be a little pushy and bossy um that's a little bit more like it especially at work where it's this sort of you know hurry up and let's do this and you might ha not have much pat not passion, might not have much patience for people who are a little slow on the uptake, okay? If you work with somebody and it's like they don't get it, you in this energy, it's like you can become curt easily. So watch out for that. Um, he's not he's not quite like the, the Knight of Swords, but he still can be like the momentum. He doesn't want to sit and wait for people to understand and get to where you are. Do you know what I mean with that? So if you have somebody that's like, 
they're always a couple steps behind or they're just kind of a slow moving person or processor. This will be a difficult energy for that kind of individual around you because um, you're going to want to move forward, especially with the Wheel of Fortune. So Eight of Swords shows up. Eight of Swords can be some unfounded fears and worries. And um, there was a, a, a documentary about Clive Davis. He started um, Arista Records. He, he's been, he's a, been a president of record, multiple record companies. Well, anyway, long story short, he has absolutely no musical background. He was an attorney. And he talked about how much fear he had in his career because but he would do it afraid. Okay, that's the thing. He would keep doing things even though he was scared. He said he talked about how he'd go home at night and worry. And so even though he was wildly successful, this is sort of like that. It's unfounded worry. It's unnecessary worry. Do it afraid. Keep going. Move forward anyway. Don't let that own you because that eight of swords is really the only restricted energy here. So don't second guess. You know, they really are telling you move forward with things. Allow yourself to be open to new opportunities, new ideas, because with the wheel of fortune, this wheel of life, this ushers in opportunities. It's doors opening that you didn't know were available to you. It's money showing up. It's promotion. Again, in a relationship too, it may feel like a bit of a whirlwind. And so regulate that. If you say this is starting to feel out of control, that's your tarot telling you it's got a lot of momentum to it. And you can always hit the brakes if you need to. You don't have to just get caught up in all the energy and go through like a Mack truck. So with this, so it is a very positive card and it is a cycle that moves in your favor. So I don't want to scare you off because I actually really love the energy of this reading, but sometimes it can catch people off guard when they get going in all this momentum. And I definitely got something about kind of a turbulent relationship. I think it's, there's love there, but I do feel like there's a lot of, um, I guess it's this something about the chemistry in it. So um, anyway, let's see here. What else? All right. You've got here helpful people. Okay. So I de definitely can see that, especially with that six of wands. Meditation brings answers. It's very needed with all this fiery energy and romance. I'm not surprised to see that with the king and queen showing up together. Take action, they say. Well, I, I don't think you can not with all this fire energy. And they say yes. So good things are on the way for you, Taurus. I love you and I'll be back again soon.